Let's take a look at what this problem is asking. Okay, so Susan, who has a mass of 68 kilograms, as so many people at the end of chapter 11 do, climbs 59 meters to the top of the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse. Okay, so she's climbing up these stairs like so. She starts out here and she ends up here. Now that's going to raise her potential energy. So it's going to cost, it's going to take a certain amount of energy to get her here. But in fact, what her body has to pay is four times as much because we assume an efficiency of 25%. Now remember efficiency, in this case 0 0.25, it's what you get divided by what you had to pay. So what that tells us is this, what she has to pay, that is the metabolic energy, is equal to what she gets, i.e. the change in potential energy, divided by 0 0.25, or 4 times what she gets. So we're going to compute the amount of energy, its potential energy that goes, we're going to compute how much her potential energy changes, that's what she gets. She has to pay four times that much. That's the metabolic energy. Then we're going to assume this. She's going to pay four times as much as she gets. So there's some leftover energy. That leftover energy is going to go into warming up her body. If we assume she doesn't exhaust it to the environment, we're going to compute how much would this increase her body temperature. That's what we're looking for. So the final stage of the problem is basically a calorimetry exercise. If you put a certain amount of heat into an object, in this case, Susan, we go ahead and put a certain amount of heat into her, how much will it raise her temperature? That's what we're asked to find here. Now, for the first step, we're going to compute the change in potential energy. Well, the change in potential energy is just m times g times delta y. To compute how much it costs her to do this, we're just going to take what we get, which is this potential energy, multiplied by 4. That's the metabolic energy. Then we'll do this. We'll take the metabolic energy minus what she gets. Okay, so we'll take what she pays minus what she gets. That's the leftover energy. That's the lost energy. And we're going to assume that goes into thermal energy in her body. That's going to increase her body temperature. Well, we assume that energy goes into heating up her body, and so it's a basic expression the basic expression we've used to solve other problems like this, the energy that goes in her body is the lost energy from this process. This is her mass. This is the specific heat of a person's body. And there's a table in the book that says that the specific heat of the mammalian body is 3,400 joules per kilogram per Kelvin. And we need to find the change in temperature. So this is everything we need to proceed to a solution which we'll do right now. Now, first off, we're going to compute the change in potential energy, okay? And the change in potential energy is m times g times delta y. Well, we know her mass, that's 68 kilograms. We know g, that's 9.8 meters per second squared. And we know y, delta y is that 59 meters. That's how high she's climbed. So we have m we have G, we have delta Y, and so we can figure out that her potential energy is increased by 39,300 joules. And since this is an intermediate stage in the calculation, I'm going to keep extra significant digits. That's the solution to part A. That's how much her potential energy increases. But now I'm going to do part B. If her efficiency is 25%, what metabolic energy does she require to complete the climb? Well, the metabolic energy... It's just four times this number. So it's just four times 39,300 because we've assumed an efficiency of 25%. So what you have to pay is four times what you get. So the metabolic energy that her body uses is 157,300 joules. And again, we've kept extra significant figures because it's an intermediate stage in our calculation. That's the answer to part B. Now, in part C, we're going to do this, okay? Let's go ahead and take a look at this question right here. We assume all of the lost energy goes into increasing her body temperature. Well, what is the lost energy? Her body uses this much metabolic energy. This much is expressed as an increase in potential energy. The difference between these two, so 157,300 joules, burned as metabolic energy, minus the 39,300 joules change in potential energy, the difference, or 118,000 joules, that just goes into thermal energy. This goes into warming up her body. So this number 
is the Q in this expression, Q is equal to M times C times delta T because that's the energy that's deposited in her body. So the energy deposited in her body is 118,000 joules. Her mass, as we said, is 68 kilograms. The specific heat of the mammalian body, 3,400 joules per kilogram per Kelvin. And so we have everything in hand to be able to calculate the change in temperature. And the change in temperature that we get is 0 0.51 Kelvin, but we're more apt to want it as in Celsius. And since it's a temperature change, Celsius and Kelvin are the same thing, so it's 0 0.51 degrees Celsius. Notice that's about this is about one degree Fahrenheit. Now let's assess this result, okay? Think about this. If you climbed 59 meters, okay, 59 meters is like 200 feet. If you climbed all the way to the top of this lighthouse, you would be sweating. And the reason you're sweating is you're trying to get rid of this excess energy. You're going to dump it into the environment. We're, we've told that she, that Susan is not able to do this, and so it's going to make her temperature rise. This is a pretty um, dramatic process here. I would expect it to produce a pretty dramatic rise in temperature. And I know that that's true because when I've actually climbed the steps to the top of the lighthouse, I was sweating a lot, which means I was dumping a lot of heat into the environment. And if I hadn't, my temperature would have gone up by quite a bit. Our final assessment is that the answer matches our expectations of how the world works.